Hey, Pop. I'm in Arkansas. I, I just joined a band. What do you mean it'll never work out? I should quit? You still don't get it, Pop. I'm not coming home. I am home. The hell with it. We're going all the way. I never go all the way. On the first gig, anyway. OK, I lied. We should learn a few new songs. We, we can record them tonight. I have a cassette recorder in my guitar case. OK, cool. Let's do it. Great. Here's the chord changes for the first song. Great set, guys. At least we got paid. $42.50. Each? No, in total. That works out to... Uh... 10 and a half cents each. How do you think we should put the half a cent toward gas? Mm. Good plan, Shbag. Hey, listen. We had a tough night. A, a tough week, really. A tough month. 23 gigs in one month, and we don't even have two nickels to rub together to make a dime. Does it work? Does what? Oh, no, it's just an expression. Of what? Of, uh... I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm a dude confused. I'm a dude. It's, I'm confused. I'm confused. Me too? Mm. Come on, pal. Let me buy you a drink. But we get our drinks free, no? And that's exactly what I can afford. So, given any more thought to my suggestion? Oh, uh, about adding all right now to the second set? No. Come on, F, I'm serious. If we had an audience at our gigs, maybe I'd find a decent dude, but you're all I got. Gee, thanks. <sighs> Don't be nervous. I'm not going to ask you to be my boyfriend or anything as awful as that. I know. It's just that. The band, right? They don't have to know. I'll keep it under my hat. That's not my point, Kay. I've never been with a bandmate before. Well, have you ever been in a band with a girl before? No. Case closed. I admire you, by the way. What? I admire what you did. Leaving home, hitting the road. Well, what about your journey? We're discussing you now. What was it like growing up in a small town? All that. Not much to tell. Had a part-time job at a hat factory. Saved up some money. First thing I bought was the loudest stereo in Ypsilanti. <laughs> See, that's cool. With these gigantic speakers. When I turned 18 Lots of love. I knew what I'd get. The biggest and the best stereo speakers. The setup in my room. The stereo speakers. Love to listen to them boom. Crank them up. Not my stereo speakers When my poppin' man Got back home from church He shouted, turn it down I knew I shouldn't curse But I was really pissed 
through the stereo speakers. All I heard was hiss and buzz, the stereo speakers. All my dreams just turned to dust. I couldn't rock, and I couldn't hide my stereo speakers. That's when I knew I had to get away And live somewhere where I could always play My stereo speakers Florida! Don't ever been? I hear it's humid this time of year. The last few shows we got paid, so looks like we'll be able to stay in a hotel tonight once we get to Pensacola. I'm gonna do love Pensacola. Of course, we'll probably need to get two rooms this time. I don't mind sharing a bed. It beats a futon in the back of a van with no air conditioning. <laughs> I know you don't mind, Ama. Ama? No one in my country calls me Ama. What do they call you? They call me Amadou. What is? I just think we should clear the air. About what, Tom? Huh? About you two. What is the deal with you two? We all know it isn't good for there to be romantic entanglements within the band. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> she asks why. Huh? <laughs> Look, guys, maybe we should cool it with all this internal stuff. Let's refocus on the music. Big show tomorrow night. Pensacola is one of the rock havens. I want to love rock havens. You sound like Woodstock, no? Don't I get a say in this? Listen, let's do the show, and we can sort all this out after the gig. Fine. 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 When I was just a young boy, the city brought me down. I always loved the hillside, some miles outside of town. The countryside was pretty, the city was a zoo. I never liked how I was pushed around, but now we're headed to the Uber town. And I would sing them all day long I want to hide away A little hide away Far away A place where we could play It's not as crazy as it seems
Hello? I'm the girl. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. You're allowed. Thank you, son. I'm welcome. How can we help you, mister? Wanna buy some much? Uh, no, no. I don't smoke. I manage bands. I'm from New York. Jeez. That's exciting. What kind of bands do you work with? Uh, you. Besides us? Well, I don't really have any musical groups in my stable right now. You have a stable in New York? No. Son, I mean my stable of acts. I've got uh, some comics. I'm a do love comics. <laughs> I've got a magician, poof. And I've got several speakers. We have several speakers in the van. Yeah, but, but I could use a group like you. I heard a few originals in that last set. Really good songs. I can get you in the studio if you want to record. Yeah. Sounds good. Got a car. Oh. The name is Sven. My cousin is that the United Nations guy, you know, Butros Butros. <laughs> Golly? You're Sven Golly? Uh oh. <laughs> Call me when you want to hit the big time. Yeah. Big. Well, uh, rock on, guys. Oh, and uh, girl, <laughs> uh, uh, you guys sound really good. Oh, I got a plane to catch, so ciao for now. <laughs> Say hello to Butros. That's uh, Butros, Butros. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think? I think he's delusional. Why? Well, first off, he thinks we're good. We are. Why are you always so negative? Because it's obvious. He's a fraud. Are you positive? No, don't you know? He's never positive. He's always negative. Hold on to the card. You never know. Yeah. Maybe someday we'll need a card. Not much of a crowd here tonight. Well, we do our best show whether there's one or a thousand. What did I say I was gonna pay you to play your stuff? We agreed on $400. Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to make it two. I mean, I'm getting killed here tonight. You can't do that, we had an agreement. Show me the contract. It was verbal. On the phone. Well, you must have heard wrong. That's pretty unethical. We, we counted on that money to live on. So that's your first mistake. Money never lives on. All right, where are you staying tonight? Motel five and a half. Oh, nice. Yeah, I guess you guys aren't that broke after all. Listen, mister, you better pay us in full or we'll... We'll... Yeah? Well, we... we will. All right, you guys can pack it up for the night, and I'll stop by the hotel with the dough. Later. Mm. Tonight. Yeah. Sure. Well, that guy's gonna stiff us? Maybe not. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he got stiff us as long as we get paid. Oh, maybe he's legit. He is from New York. And his cousin is in the UN. And he likes us. Let's load out. He said yes. Oh! What? What? He said yes! He's he said yes! He's oh,
Um, who said yes to what? He said yes to recording us. He said, come on up. Are you sure he said he'd record us? Well, that's what he said at the club, right? Well, shouldn't we get his assurance before we schlep 1,200 miles to New York? You know, what's the difference? We're at a dead-end road as it is. I can get us some more gigs. Yeah, so we can get stiff like the last time? <laughs> I suppose that was my fault. Well, you could have gone over and kicked his ass. I'm going to kick Vito Powers' ass? I get whacked by the mob in no time. Getting whacked by the mob sounds like fun. Yeah, that's no solution. Hey, I know. We can take him to small claims court. My point is, we have nothing to lose by going to New York. Yeah, how can we afford it? Can, can we even afford it? Well, according to my accounting, we have $54.32. Just enough for gas. How do you figure? Well, it's 1187 miles to New York, the van gets 16.2 miles per gallon, and regular gas averages 89 cents in the States we'll be traveling to. Wow, that's impressive. How did you figure that out so fast? I didn't, I just made it up so fast. When you run one way, it's hard to turn around. So what's your story, drummer? I'm Amadou, and from another country. Yeah, aren't we all? Well, you play some pretty good drums. They are Pearl 700 DX. What's your name? I'm Wanda, and <laughs> nice to meet you. You look familiar. Are you a singer? Oh, how'd you know? Yeah, back in the 60s, I was a singer. Yeah, in Chicago, they used to call me Magic Wanda. I'm a do <laughs> Back when I was 20, I was a big star. Got signed by a label, thought I would go far. But music's a business, I wouldn't play. The game they were playing wasn't my way. Soon it was over, my contract was dropped. The press soon ignored me, club gigs just stopped. And since then I've seen it time and again You think they can help you, but they're not your friend I was the queen of R&B Until the suits got hold of me I was the next big thing Trying to grab the ring It wasn't happening
Thanks, kid. You know, I, I gotta ask you. That accent of yours, I, I, I've been just about everywhere. I, I've not quite heard yours. I think I can tell you the true story if you keep it to yourself. The truth will set you free, my friend. When I first came to the States, I was ignored by everyone. Couldn't get a band or even a friend. So I realized I needed to learn English. Then I met Kay and we hit it off. Then Saul came along and he liked making fun of my language problems. So even after I learned more English, I kept the accent. I began to say funny things as if I couldn't understand English. Hmm. It became a persona I couldn't escape. I became a comical character mm -hmm. out of necessity. Mm. Well, you're an actor. You're, you're, you're playing the role of you. It's okay to have an external facade. I mean, that's what singers do. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday I can actually be the real me. <laughs> well, meanwhile, we got to do what we got to do to survive. Look, you're not alone. You are not the only one in your boat. Ama do not have a boat. <laughs> 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 Crummy man Headed to New York We have a plan To become The world's greatest band We're on our way Past the palm trees In the evergreens Never see the cities In between Just enough cash For gasoline Thank you.